Pokemon Duel Trainers. So how do we counter Mega Manetric? And does Mega Manetric need a nerf? Stay tuned! It's showtime! It's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime! What's up trainers? It's your host, Professor Showtime here with another educational, with another informative, with another exciting episode of Pokemon Duel! Boom! Back at it like Pokemon Duel addicts and trainers! Do I got a show for you guys? So, let's get into it. Mega Minetric. That's what we're discussing. Mega Minetric. That's what we're discussing today. My goodness gracious. This figure is amazing. This figure is terrific. This figure is, dare I say it, broken. This is a broken figure. I was discussing in the comment section during my last video with Hold Rage. Shout out to Hold Rage. Hold Rage and I were discussing in detail how broken Mega Minetric is and I figured might as well make some content about it and everybody knows about it but let me talk about it explicitly because I knew how broken it was implicitly but when Hold Rage was breaking it down to me I'm like wait a minute that's a lot of stuff I had deja vu of Tabu Coco how Tabu Coco was really 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 broken but this figure it's broken because it's a beater it's probably the biggest beater we got right now so please allow me to explain Oh, we're coming live from the hood. We're in Brooklyn, New York. For those of you guys who are wondering, and it's because you guys know what I say, there's not enough time in the day. Time is a non-renewable resource. So I figured I'd do, do kill two birds with one stone. But let's do this. First things first, Mega Manetric has zero miss at level five. That's right, no miss. So all the things about RNG and how you land miss and it's not gonna come into effect. You're not going to lose to Magic Harp Splash. You're not going to roll a miss when you can easily, easily, easily win the roll. It's just not going to happen. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that there's no white on the wheels. There's only gold and blue. And it's a high damage gold attack. Whether or not you put the chain levels in it, you know, it's not really that important. But it's a high damage gold attack. And it's a big blue. The big blue paralyzes and there's a small sliver of dodge and that blue is there for status conditions. So let's say for example, Mega Manetric gets a status condition. Let's say Mega Manetric is burned. It's not gonna affect Mega Manetric that much. Well, for all intents and purposes, it's really not gonna affect Mega Manetric at all because it's gonna be burned and that's just gonna be a small, small sliver of the wheel. So we basically you'll have a four miss if it's burned. Same thing if it's paralyzed. If it's paralyzed, it's not really going to affect Mega Manetric because it's just going to be a small segment that's going to be affected. So let's talk about Mega Manetric and its uh, ability. Once Mega Manetric is on the field, any figure that comes onto the field is paralyzed. And you guys might be saying, Showtime, so, so why is that so important? Well, the reason why that is so important is because if the figure is paralyzed, Mega Manetric's ability also states that it cannot be knocked out. So Mega Manetric cannot be paralyzed by any paralyzed, I mean, cannot be knocked out by any paralyzed figures. So let me go into detail about that. Even if your opponent Z moves, if your opponent Z moves you, and let's say your opponent attacks for like 300. Your opponent attacks for 300, but, and Mega Manetric lands his, his miss. His blue turns into a miss, and the opponent lands 300 because of a Z move, Mega Manetric is still not gonna be knocked out. That is so broken. Also, let's talk about Mega Manetric and the combination of the no guard plate. That's right, the no guard plate. The no guard plate stipulates that if any, if any Pokemon for the next battle lands a blue, it's gonna slide into the next attack. So Mega Manetric's wheel is what, guys? Blue and gold. So if you pop the no guard plate and you land your blue, it's only gonna slide into a gold. And the same thing with your opponent. If your opponent lands on his blue, it's either gonna go into a gold or worse, a purple. And there's 
no gold attack higher than Mega Manetric's gold attack. It's the highest gold attack in the game. Even higher than, uh, dare I say it? Mega, Rayqua Mega Rayquaza right now. So guys, that's the deal with Mega Manetric. You know, you couple that with a Shaman Landform and you can just rush your opponents down from the, be from the beginning. I'm gonna put some gameplay on with spotlighting this. And yeah, guys, so remember trainers, if you wanna catch big fish, you gotta go where the water is deep. And Pokemon Duel is not just a game, it's a serious game. This is Showtime, signing off. Peace, trainers. Ah, oh, that was fun. That was fun. Okay, so this is the best match that I could find. This match is gonna show us exactly how to counter, well, the closest thing to do to counter Mega Manetric. Because Mega Manetric is pretty hard to counter, so let's talk about, let's talk about it a little, and let's talk about it in detail a little bit, all right? Here we go. First things first. First of all, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more videos like that, more vlog style videos, or would you rather me just do the entire video like this? I gotta tell you, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know I can't walk and chew gum, definitely can't walk and, stream, and, and record. But anyway, back to the video. First things first, Lucario. Why is Lucario is a nice counter for Mega Manetric? Um, Lucario cannot be knocked out by gold attacks. Now it's tricky because if Lucario is affected by a special condition, it can be knocked out by gold attacks. And as we know, Mega Manetric automatically paralyzes uh, figures as soon as they come on the board. But if Lucario is your first figure on the board, then it's not going to be knocked up, be able to be knocked out by gold attacks. And and if it isn't your first figure on the board, if you Mega Evolve into Mega Lucario, Mega Lucario has the same um, same thing. It cannot be knocked out by gold attacks. So if Lucario is paralyzed, if you Mega into Mega Lucario, it's gonna lose the paralysis and then it can't be knocked out. But it will be nice to stall Mega Manetric. It can't knock it out, but it's, it's, it'll be nice to stall it. Maybe you wanna put Lucario on the goal as a goalie. I don't know. The next figure that's not on here is Dawn Wings. Dawn Wings Necrozma can, can be really competitive with uh, Mega Manetric, especially on its first turn, because on Dawn Wings' first turn, it turns all of its opponent's gold attacks to white attacks. So therefore, Dawn Wings can land his two-star purple and, and pretty much knock out Mega Manetric. But that's only on the first turn, unless they have a Poipu on the field, then Dawn Wings' effect is gonna last ongoing. The next figure that can um, counter Mega Manetric is Zorark. I know we're not seeing a lot of Zorark, but the cross counter is still relevant. And cross counter, you know, anything that's gonna hit pretty hard and Mega Manetric hits pretty hard, it's gonna it's gonna be knocked out instead of Zorark is gonna be knocked out. The same deal with uh with Celebi and Grass Knot. You know, any figure with Grass Knot, the one I'm looking at right now is the mythical Celebi. Put Celebi on the field, and he goes that against uh. Mega Manetric, it has an okay chance. I mean, yes, it does have a large uh, purple, but and purple into gold is gonna knock it out. But the Grass Knot, you know, is gonna be able to take out Mega Manetric. Another figure, let's see, and it's, it stops about right there, guys. Oh yeah, Arceus. Arceus, the reason why I say Arceus is because Arceus um, hits pretty hard. It hits for 170 without any chain levels. And you know, the same thing with Mega Manetric hits for 170 without any chain levels. So it's probably going to go down to who has whoever has more chain levels is going to win. <clears throat> but as long as you can hit harder than Mega Manetric, um, you'll be fine. Another figure that hits pretty hard is Steelix. Steelix hits for the nice 170 mark as well. So it's going to come down to the chain levels. You know, Mega Manetric is going to hit for 170. But with whoever has more chain levels is going to win. But it stops around there, guys. Um, also, you got to have... You gotta run gold block. You probably gotta run maybe an air balloon. You gotta have like a three moon point figure. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. So this is what the this is this match was the match that I found that gave me the most trouble. And you guys will see what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna see. Let's go through it really really quickly. It's a quick match. Don't worry guys. So I get the first turn. I start off with normal metric. He brings out his um Lucario, and I'm like, wow, Lucario is a great matchup because I can't knock it out. So what I want to do is I want to try to status condition the Lucario. And let's see what happens. My opponent goes right there. I'm going to go ahead and attack. I didn't use the no guard plate because I thought I was just going to 
paralyze him, but no, he actually switches into Zorak, which I don't think was the correct move. He switches into the Zorak, and I get the... I get the paralysis, but Zork is already paralyzed because he came on the field. He's gonna he's gonna hop on the gold and on the goal, and right now I'm gonna use my no guard plate. It's gonna guarantee me damage because the only thing on Mega Manetric's wheel is blue and gold. There's no miss. So I slide in, I I hit my blue, I slid into the gold, so I'm gonna knock it out. He did not last cross counter, so we dodged the bullet there. Now he's gonna come out, he's gonna double chance with his Arceus, and Arc is gonna come along and Arceus is looking for his 175. Or Arceus is looking for his return. So let's see what's gonna happen. The return is turned into a miss. I get the not I get the 170. He's gonna double chance and hits his 175. So 175 versus 170. I lose the roll. But guys, you know what I'm gonna do. Rewind time. It's rewind time. I hit the melody. The Celebi rewind time. I go attack the Zorak again. This time I'm hoping he doesn't last his cross counter. And of course Zorak does not last land, land his cross counter. I use my no guard plate. So of course I'm going to slide into my damage attack. And now one more time for Arceus. Arceus is going to come back on the field one more time. My opponent is going to use his up double chance. Shout out to Pixlay. He's going to use a double chance. He's going to attack. He's paralyzed already. So he's going to have a miss. And the return is a miss again. And this time I hit my big blue. He had his miss. He's not going to use a double chance. Pixlay. Pixlay. Good game. Good game. You tried. The trainers. Mega Manetric is pretty difficult to knock out. It's pretty difficult, especially in the beginning of the game. You know, when you just bull rush it down, it's pretty difficult. Trainers, in the comment section down below, do you guys think Mega Manetric needs to be nerfed? That's what I want to hear doesn't need to be nerfed also in the comment section let me know if you guys liked enjoyed that uh video that i did block style i had fun doing it if you guys want more like that let me know if you guys say no showtime the quality was terrible i'll take that into consideration as well for trainers mega metric has no miss that no miss at level five that's a b it's for 170 without any chain levels c it's three movement points D, when it's on the field, any other figure that comes on the field gets paralyzed. But D, or E, that's E, right? A, B, C, D, E. E, it cannot be knocked out by figures with a status condition. So those figures that came on the field, even if it had a Z move, it cannot knock it out. Trainers, this reminds me of Tapu Coco. You guys remember when Tapu Coco came out? Has three movement points, can hop over other Pokemon that aren't fairy type. Um, it has the melee melee wish so it can give other figures three movement points and soar. It gives plus 30 to ele other electric type figures on its attack. Um, yeah, you guys remember that? Tapu Coco? Mega Manetric feels like the new Tapu Coco in my opinion. Doesn't need to be nerfed. Let me know in the comments down below. And trainers, if you want to catch big fish, you got to go with the water is deep. And the Showtime channel is not just a community. We are a family. This is Showtime. Signing off. Peace, trainers.